Welcome to Spotlight, it's your girl Colette Prince and there is so much to look forward to and watch this Heritage Day weekend. Our elite team of mercenaries are at it again in Expendables 4. Love knows no bounds in the K-drama Past Lives. And we have a look at this year's highlights from the Toronto International Film Festival. Who do you call when all other lines of defense are off the table? Of course, I'm talking about the new action film release, Expendables 4. The terrorists have taken possession of nuclear missiles on a cargo ship off the coast. If these babies go off, it'll be World War III. It's time to get loud. Is that the biggest one you've got? Directed by Scott Waugh, cast Jason Statham, Sylvester Stallone and Dolph Lundgren to reprise their roles alongside new faces, 50 Cent, Megan Fox and more. If you're a fan of the Expendables franchise, then this fourth installment is sure to bring you all the action as you can watch Expendables 4, now at cinemas in D-Box and 48. In this week's competition, we're giving away a Koi watch valued at 2.5 thousand Rand to celebrate the release of Expendables 4. For full competition details, head over to Spotlight South Africa on Facebook. And as always, T's and C's apply. K-drama fever continues to spread and is gaining more and more popularity as A24 brings us a love story that spans through time in the new film release, Past Lives. He's your childhood sweetheart, and it's not like you're gonna run away with him, are you? The first time that Hesong and Arthur meet each other was also the first time that the actors met each other in a person. We did this sort of experiment as we were filming where we didn't talk, never met, until the first moment we meet on film. It forced me to be vulnerable in a way that I was deeply uncomfortable with. In the story, I would be the evil white American husband standing in the way of destiny. Shut up. The film is Celine Song's directorial debut as she casts Greta Lee and Teo Lu as the main characters Nora and Heisung. If Matters of the Heart is more up your speed, then head out to a cinema near you to watch an emotionally disarming odyssey of love in the film Past Lives. The 48th annual Toronto International Film Festival, TIFF, ended on the 17th of September 2023. With the festival seeing a large decline in big Hollywood names due to the writers and actors strike, some prestige films did not make an appearance, but that being said, the festival showcased over 300 films, such as Core Jefferson's film, American Fiction, winning the People's Choice Award, Mr. Dress Up, The Magic of Make Believe, also winning an award, and a few noticeable films that people haven't stopped talking about, being the heartbreaking film Green Border, the film Hitman, and a quiz lady starring Aquafina and Sandra O. Oh. It is safe to say the race to award season is lingering in the air, so we will keep you up to date on all local and international film festivals. Dust off your superhero outfits because it is indeed that time of the year again for the ultimate pop culture and gaming festival in Africa, Comic Con. With so much to do and experience with your family, interact with some of your favorite local artists and illustrators. Have fun with the Nantu and Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom stands. Get an autograph or a picture with our main international artists. With something for everyone to enjoy, get your tickets for Comic Con now and I will see you there. Coming up next week. The legendary tale of Hans Stierk the Rubicon Ur comes to life on the big screen as you can be the first to watch it at the local pre-screenings happening all over the country at their clinical cinemas. Head over to their website now to find out more. We've reached the end of the show so follow us on Facebook at Spotlight South Africa for all things entertainment. From me, Colette Prince, catch you guys next week. <laughs>